All right, in this video, we're gonna go over the uh, brief identification of the muscles of the leg. Then in um, later videos, we'll actually go over each of their insertions, actions, and origins. So we're gonna start with the glute muscles first. This large one is gonna be the gluteus maximus. We're gonna remove it so you can see the gluteus medius, which is number 12 right through here. Then we're gonna have 13, which is the gluteus minimus. We're gonna rotate the leg to the um, lateral view. And here you're gonna see number 18. This is the tensor fascia lata or the tensor uh, fascia latae, depending on where you come from. Um, this attaches to the IT band. This is the iliotibial band. So make sure you know that for the exam, we will ask for the tensor up through here. So we're gonna rotate the leg to the anterior view. And here we'll go over the quadricep muscles. So the quadricep muscles are gonna have the rectus femoris in the front. Then we're gonna have three vastus muscles. We're gonna have the vastus lateralis. And so note that this is the knee, This is the, since we're in the anterior view, this is the lateral muscle of the knee. And this is gonna be, this um, vastus medialis is gonna be on the medial portion of the knee. So let me go ahead and rotate this forward. So the last vastus we're gonna focus on is vastus intermedius. And we're gonna pop out this muscle. And this is gonna be the vastus intermedius muscle. Note that it was directly south of this major muscle, which is gonna be the rectus femoris muscle. Let me go ahead and pop the rectus femoris back in. This is the rectus femoris muscle right here. So we're gonna rotate the leg toward the medial side where you will see the sartorius. So the sartorius goes from front of hip all the way down through here to the inside knee. Next, we're gonna show you the um, adductor longus muscle. This is the adductor longus muscle. We're gonna rotate again. So you can see the gracilis muscle. It's this nice big one right here. Note that it goes from inside hip to inside knee. Next, we're gonna rotate a little further and we're gonna see the adductor magnus. And if you look at the cadaver, you'll notice it's much more meaty. So it, gets, it has more mass, it's more magnificent, right? So we're gonna rotate to the posterior view now. And the posterior view of the leg, we're gonna look for medial orientation and lateral orientation, okay? So we're gonna have the bicep femoris, and you're gonna note that the bicep femoris has a long and a short head. 31 is gonna be the long head, and we're gonna pop it out so you can see the short head. And the short head is gonna be number 32 right through here. So again, it's on the back of the knee, it is posterior. So I'm gonna to go to the semitendinosus. That's number 30 right through here and it's the more superficial posterior muscle. Right underneath that is gonna be the semi-tend, I'm sorry, membranosus, okay? And it is, it goes the entire length across here, but it's underneath this muscle. So, membi, tendi, and then I joke the bicep femoris would go right through here. So now we're gonna go a little lower on the leg, and we're gonna go through the calf muscles and the muscles of the shin. So let me go ahead and pop this puppy back in. Okay, so we're gonna rotate to the front of the leg and we're gonna note three or about four major muscles. So we're gonna do some orientation. Again, we are anterior. This is the tibial bone, the tibia. So we're gonna say that this is the tibialis anterior muscle. Next, we're gonna have the extensor digitorum. And we're gonna know that extensor digitorum longus is gonna be this muscle right through here, number 34. Okay. We're gonna have the fibularis longus. You may have heard of it as the peroneus muscle. And if we wrote the leg, rotate, I'm sorry, rotate the leg laterally, you'll note that this is the fibularis muscle, or as you may have heard it, the peroneus muscle. And make sure that we're not including 36. We're just gonna include this upper portion right through here. Next, we're gonna talk about the extensor hallux longus. So hallux, you know from bones, means a big toe. So we're gonna rotate um, to the front. And if you notice, it is a little superficial, but it does go a little deep. And it's not just this tiny little baby muscle that goes up and actually kind of spreads out a little further, thicker inside the, um, the calf. So now we're gonna to flip to the posterior view. And in the posterior view, you're gonna see the gastrocnemius and there's two heads. So you're gonna see 37 is one head, 38 is gonna be the, the, the other head. And we're gonna remove them so you can see the soleus muscle. And sometimes it's a little hard to pull out so you may have to remove this muscle right through here. And so that was one of the heads that we moved from the gastrocnemius. And now we're gonna have 39, which is the soleus muscle. 
And it doesn't just stop here, it actually goes the length of this calf. So it is under here as well. Lastly, we're gonna have the flexor hallus longus, and that's gonna be number 43. And we're gonna rotate, well, actually we're gonna palm off a little bit. It's a deeper um, posterior muscle, and you're gonna see it right through here. Okay, so it's a deeper muscle in the calf, and that's all of our muscles for the leg.